What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, I am just going to turn the audio down just for now. Um, now I might have linked it in the title but just to make it interesting I might have also not linked it in the title. Um, but we are going to be doing something today on GTA and I'm going to be having a bit of fun today and buying a vehicle. Uh, this vehicle I've wanted for ages now. Um, like, since I've been looking at GTA vehicles, it's pretty much been my dream GTA vehicle, like, recently. And it's it's one that I'll never sell. Um, and it's pretty good, actually, as well. It's very fast. Um, it's faster than the Skyline, which is obviously the Elegy, um, with the Benny's upgrades. It's a lot faster than that. Um, well, not by tons. It's faster than that and the Penumbra FF, which... Um, you know, the back of the Penumbra F, I actually thought, like, before I got really, like, into Supras, um, I did not realise, like, that that was not a Supra. It's just that the headlights on the rear of it look similar, you know, with the three headlights, but now I know, ex like, exactly what the, the, uh, thing is, and, yeah, we're gonna be buying a vehicle, uh, so it's faster than them two. So I actually thought that that was a Supra. But anyways, let me show you guys which vehicle we're going to be purchasing. As you can see, this is 1 million. Um, now, I will let you guys know, this is not shark cards. Um, actually, I'm on PlayStation 4, um, so I get the free 1 million uh, until the release of GTA on, um, you know, until the release of GTA 5 on PlayStation 5, which obviously you can already use the disc, but it's not necessarily that, it's actually the, um, it's like the, uh, you know, like, if you think about it, I don't know, I was speaking, man, and I forget all the time what I was saying, so yeah, so I'm on PS4, and, um, yeah, this is the one mil. So it's not a shark card, it's just the money that you get free for 1 million. I am saving up for a PS5 in real life. I only need a bit more. Um, but right now, the trouble isn't necessarily the money. The trouble is the stock. But here we go, guys. So I already sort of, you know, linked it a little bit earlier when I was on about Supras. Um, but this is the vehicle that I'm going to be purchasing today. Um, so yeah, we're going to purchase it pink because why not, um, it's as shown, actually no, it will look very cool in black, okay, we're going to order this to Tinsel Towers, but we're going to, like, we're going to replace that one, because that was the one vehicle that I didn't need from there, so don't worry about my money guys, because I know that obviously my money looks bad, um, and the upgrades are going to cost a lot, but once I'm done, I have like nightclub stock that I can sell, um, so it's not that bad, um, it's just a matter of thing. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to get on the road up here. I'm going to change into a more casual outfit. This is just one of the ones that I came up with. It was just like a nice jacket with some joggers and some trainers. Just sort of a casual outfit instead of having like crazy outfits. That one that you saw there were just like what I ride when I got dirt bikes. Because it, you know, it just... Oh, wait, actually, I don't want that one. I'll take this baller. His voice was so funny. You loser. Oh, yeah, bro, you suck. His voice sounded like that one of that Bob's Burgers. Um, ah, like animation, like show called Bob's Burgers. Some people may know it. Anyway, we are going to head over to, I don't know, where's a nice spot? We need to get to the LS. Uh, we could just go to the LS up here, so I guess we can just get near there, basically. And then eventually, obviously, when we get the notification that the Supra has arrived, we will do it. So, if you guys are interested in buying this vehicle, it is 790,000 cash, uh, GTA cash. Um, it is on Legendary Motorsport. It's pink, so if you just look for the pink cars, obviously, there's no filter for colours. But if you just look for all the pink vehicles that you see, you'll uh, you'll eventually find it. Um, so, yeah, it's just, on it's just over here, guys, on Legendary Motorsport. Uh, I wouldn't recommend sorting by price because it'll just take even longer. Um, if you just keep scrolling down, it's next to the Tyrant and the Swinger and it's just right there. 
Uh, but yeah, but I mean, if you literally just are blind and haven't seen it like I sometimes am in the game where I just completely miss stuff, uh, then that's all good. You'll just sort by price and then find it until it gets to 790,000. Um, so as you guys can see, it's just arrived. So we will be sorting that out in a second once we have done it. Um, so I've been debating because I didn't know whether I was gonna like fully buy, uh, fully do it all Fast and Furious, or if I was gonna try and change it up a bit. But I think I'm gonna go f like I don't know because I'm like if I'm being honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Orange. Um, it's just not really, I mean, other oranges I like, but, like, the orange that the Super is, I just don't really think it suits the car. Like, I've seen the livery, obviously, you know, the livery that is, like, the main one for the Fast and Furious movies, you can get in the game. It's, it's a little bit changed up, obviously, due to copyright and stuff, and they won't have permission, and they've changed the name of it, so in the movie, it's called the 10 Second Car, that he owes the guy. Um, but in the, like, you know, in this, the rap is called the te the 10 minute car, because obviously, you know, you know, like, they don't name, like this, they don't name it a Supra, it's called a Jester Classic, so there's, there's different names, here we go, engine, oh, whoo, see, now, people were saying that, uh, something I also noticed, Oh, we don't care about that. They were saying about the, um, the, what is it, um, the interior of this, this Supra is actually the interior it's supposed to be for the Penumbra FF, which is, um, forgotten the name of the car it's based off, and the actual interior for the Penumbra FF is actually supposed to be in this car, so... You know, I don't know, really, but yeah. So, here we go, guys. Now, uh, one thing, uh, I don't have one specific thing unlocked, um, which I'm going to have to fix, you know, obviously. Um, I have two things, actually. I don't have 100% on the armor. Um, I do have... Um, I do have everything else but the 100% uh, armor and the turbo tuning. Um, so, right now, I'm not going to do those. I'm just going to focus on everything else that I can put on the car. Um, now, splitters, I saw some nice ones. Like, that one I really liked, but I didn't like the splitter. But I did like these ones. Like, I didn't like that. Because, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, like, it's just trying to think. Like, it looks cool with the thing spinning. But then again, there's this one with the, like, with the, like, straps on it, which was pretty nice. There's just that one, but then again, that does actually look very nice. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna try and do stuff that I know what it looks like. Uh, primary cage, rear seats included. Uh, I think that's what we're gonna do, because obviously you can get the primary cage on its own. Second, oh, rear seats with secondary cage. Okay, we're gonna, obviously gonna go for the biggest one. We are definitely maxing the engine out. Um, the exhaust, let's see. I did see the, t the double chromes. They were pretty nice. That's what most people have been using. But I did like the titanium, but I think I'm going to go with the double chrome because that one, in my opinion, just looks a bit nicer. Now, the carbon covers, they are disgusting. Uh, I didn't like the ones with the flaps. I liked, like, the maybe it was just the stock ones then. Maybe it was the headlights that the guy was changing. Because, uh, obviously, I've seen some, like, you know, some, like, some vi videos of the stuff and whatnot. Got to keep in mind that this is going to be orange. I think I like the vented hood. But I, I'm going to respray it first, actually, guys. Because then, if once I've resprayed it, I'll actually fully know, like, what it's supposed to be. So, do I want to do it metallic? I don't really want to do it metallic because if you try and put a secondary colour on it, it looks a little weird. Matte orange is like kind of a weird colour. Uh it's not it's pretty cool, but then again, I'm into the glossy like paints on the cars. Like I don't know, I just prefer the glossy colours. Now I've got to pick an orange here. That is definitely not the orange that the car was. I think it's this one to be honest, just orange in general. I don't think it was sunrise because that's like a little dark. I don't know. Let me have a look. Because we can take a look at the uh 
the actual car because I'm gonna try and make this as close to the as uh, to the actual like vehicle itself as possible. Uh, super. Let's see. Uh, so it's like a glossy, like light orange. Actually, I think it is that orange. Yeah, it is. Okay, there it is. Boom. Uh, now for the um, I am gonna change that other stuff as well, guys. Uh, the roof of this Supra is literally just the stock one. Uh, but we could have like a vent on there, uh, but it doesn't. So like I said, I'm gonna try and make it as like as close as I can. Uh, the skirts are like those ones, the primary lip skirts, the spoiler, now the spoiler on this car is like a crossed, well no it's, it's like a double, the one on the actual car itself is actually that one, but it's got three, oh god. I see personally I would have gone with that but we try to make it like the Fast and Furious one and I think the closest I can get it is that there's no non like fiber like carbon fiber options that one looks a little ridiculous so we're gonna go with this one uh, the suspension kit obviously we want it race uh, just so that it gets the stuff up 40k on the transmission obviously the turbo we can't get uh, the rims are like um, so let me just get the hood done actually because I do want to do the hood. Uh, the one in the the one that is like identical is that. Uh, let's get the livery on actually. There it is, 10 minute car, boom. Okay, right, now here is where it's going to get a little pricey uh, because we are actually going to do... We're going to do the rims. Now the rims that come with it are similar to the ones of the actual... Fast and Furious one, um, but they're, they're a little too chunky, so what we're going to do is, as you can see, they're very expensive, so if I do, do like sports chrome rims, yeah, they're still very expensive. The rims that the Supra has, I think those are the exact ones, but that is very expensive. So I think for now, just because of how pricey it is, like even the stock rims, uh, it's like we can't get them chrome. It's the endo V ones. That is literally the rim. Um, but the only problem is we like if I'm doing like if I'm doing the color of them. The problem is you can't go like chrome, which is sucks because we'll do alloy. Yeah, we'll do alloy. Uh, the windows we're gonna put the max tint on because that just looks the best in my opinion. Uh, the wheels, uh, obviously we've just done that. Tire enhancements. I do want bulletproof tires on the car. Uh, the tire design. Uh, do I want sports? You know what? I think I don't think I need them. Because uh, it doesn't do anything for the car in general. It just puts some design on the tyres. Which, obviously, at a later date, if I want to do that, I'll do. I'll go ahead and do that. But, I'm all good from there. Right, anyways, I think we've done everything we can, really, to the car. Um, obviously, the horn isn't, you know, that <laughs> interesting. Uh, headlights. Uh, I'm fine with the stock ones right now. Uh, so I think that's everything guys I will get probably like if I'm trying to go like full exactly like the same uh, we can do something All right, let's just do that now I'm gonna make this identical so if you guys didn't know there's an app on your phone that you can download literally it's just called it's it's just called uh, what is it um, it's literally called iFruit. You just make an email. Well, you just, you know, you set up your email with it or whatever, and you just make an account. And you can go into the Los Santos Customs. You can select a vehicle, and then you can make a custom plate for it. So just to make it as identical as possible, I am literally going to put the exact same, like, registration on it. Um, the secondary colour, I want black. Uh, which... 
sorry about the noise guys that was just off of the app uh i'm gonna do the trim color i think uh the the trim color i think is just like normal like i don't think it's uh it's never done that before i just wanted to get on with it get on with itself To be honest, I think I'm just going to keep that stock. It doesn't really need anything. Uh, so let's go down here. Okay, that is not the right one. Okay, that's my presser. Okay, let's try and find this thing. Uh, that could be it. No, that's my Pegasi. That's my Grotti. That's my Pista. That's the Grotti. That's a Progen Tyrus. Albany Emperor. Dinka Jester Classic. So, let's go over to my plates. Uh, so the exact plate is 3NT Q305. and 3NT Q305. Yep, that is the identical... Well, from all the pictures that I've got, guys, that is the identical plate. Uh, 3NT... Q305 done uh i'll just honestly keep it stock uh please make an order oh See, it's 100k again. And, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes, guys, the plates can be really expensive. And then sometimes they're really cheap. And for this car, the plate's going to cost me 100k just to change the plate. So, we're not obviously, we're not going to do that. Uh, now, like I said, there's no armor on this. And there is no... Um, there's no turbo because I need max level. So... Yeah, this thing's pretty darn cool. There we go, speed demon. Just trying to crush it straight away. Woo, did you hear that pop? On this vehicle. The pops are really nice. Uh, let's pull up somewhere and let's take a look at the hood. There we go, we're pulling up in the Supra. Right. Uh, let's hop out. Uh, we'll get the engine running just because, obviously, that would be pretty nice. Uh, Alright, we're not going to look. I'm just going to pop the hood. Right, the hood is popped. Vehicle remote functions. Engine on. Okay, let's take a look. Nice, so we've got like the NOS bottle, we've got the nice thing right there. Now, I don't know, this thing might have a trunk. Uh, ah, it does. Let's see, has it got any snazzy things in the trunk? Eh, no, nothing in the trunk, just the roll cage and just the, the rear window. It's a pretty big trunk because of the huge rear window. Uh, so let's shut that. So nothing too crazy in there. The interior. Uh, I do like the interior, actually. Because I don't want, like... To be honest, the Penumbra FF interior, I think, is way uglier than this one. Uh, obviously, I know if you're trying to make it identical to the actual real-life thing, it wouldn't be this. Like, it would be, obviously, like, you know, like people were saying, it would be a thing. 
Really? This thing's sick at drifting. Ho ho ho! So this wasn't in the Tokyo Drift movie, this was in, I believe, Fast and Furious 1? I think. But it's funny how it's called the 10 minute car, that is like so hilarious. Yeah, so this thing's very nice at drifting. Obviously it's tight around the corners as well, so if you try to get grip, obviously you'll need a bit of drift just to get around the corner fully because it'll take too long. But overall, it's very nice and I like it a lot. I'm very happy with the purchase. Obviously we'll have to do a little bit of grinding. Um, to be able to purchase the full 100% armor. Uh, so we'll need 100 grand um, if wanting to do those upgrades, which I will be able to get. It's just that, obviously, I can't actually do them. Um, so, yeah, anyways, uh, that has been the Supra purchase. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one. Hopefully this goes up on the channel. Actually, hold up. I almost forgot. We, got, we forgot the bumpers, guys. Let's see what the bumpers look like. I just noticed that I'd forgotten about them. I just looked at the vehicle, saw something was missing. Let's see what 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 uh what bumper does it have? Okay, so I think it has a bumper that you can't actually get. Um, it has like the bumper. Well, it doesn't have anything too fancy. Which is exactly what I mean. Like, I don't want anything crazy for it. Like, I'd love that bumper. But with the, like, you know, like, the grill with the, uh... Like, with that. But I do like that, so I think I'm going to go with that. Even though that might obviously... I don't like the carbon. a big fan of diffusers on cars i think it makes the rear of them look a little weird uh but yeah so uh, we have done everything we can to the vehicle headlight covers obviously i didn't want anything really there the headlights themselves didn't have any cool options just obviously the normal xenon uh effect uh but over that oh <laughs> over that overall the car will sell for 589k which is pretty nice but i will probably never ever sell this car just because I've, I've been wanting this for so long. Um, but yeah, uh, I do need to get that. I am level 95, I believe. Uh, let me just check. 95, yeah. So I'll need, I'll need five more levels before we can think about getting those other upgrades um, available to me. Uh, so I actually won't be able to beat my mates <laughs> just yet. Well, you never know. I might actually, but I don't know. Because this thing obviously isn't fully maxed. It's like nearly there. It still needs the turbo. And obviously the armor isn't that big of a deal. Um, but yeah. I couldn't even buy the cheaper armor if I wanted. But I think, you know, like, I think I might just sell my nightclub stock, to be honest. Uh, just so that I actually have armor for the car. Because I do actually want armor. Um, but yeah. So pretty snazzy um i will probably end up selling like either one of my other cars that i don't even need like a rubbish car that i don't care about uh just help to put towards but like i said my nightclub stock will sell for enough for uh the but yeah there we go there's a turbo in there which we don't even have but obviously it's just for looks as of right now uh but yeah so i hope you guys have enjoyed the review of the the supra uh i definitely recommend purchasing it um it is a very very fast and nice car and it looks very good with the uh, fast and furious stuff so yeah i was kind of worried about the orange but i actually like it obviously i haven't seen it in the sun yet um but oh you've scuffed me supra Anyway, I guess I can end it on a spin of the lucky wheel. Because uh, mine's actually prepared and ready. And she needs to actually spin it. So we are going to pull up over there. I do, something I will say, I love the uh, the pop of the engine. Because it has that like that like booster effect to it. It's not just a pop, it's like the... I don't know if you guys can hear that. 
I didn't do it then. There, look, it keeps doing it. Uh, there. There you go, you can sort of hear it there. It's nosy. I haven't seen one of those on the road in a while. There we go, look, you can see it in the light now. Snazzy. We're bam. Super in the house. Alright, so like I said, guys, we're going to end it with a spin of the lucky wheel. Uh, just to see if we get lucky. I've already won the casino car, so I won't be going for that. I'll literally, probably, if I can, I will just be going for RP um, or money. One of the two. Money, I can obviously just get my cash from my nightclub, uh, which is a decent amount, I believe. Um, but I even want that. So I even want money or chips or RP because obviously if I get chips I can just turn them into cash. Um, but yeah, so let us see how we do. So obviously we don't want it to land on the car because then we get nothing. Um, but yeah. There we go with a nice little spin. Let's see what we get. Just hoping for not clothing. Anything but clothing. Yes, get in, boys. Plenty of rep. We're getting one step closer, guys. One step closer. Cool, closer. Closer. So, yeah. Actually, got one of the things I wanted for once. The the car, for me, took a while to get, actually, um, to be honest with you. But as you can see, it's not there. I already have won it. So, yeah. Anyways, let's finally end the video. I've done my outro about three times now. But, yeah. Like I said before, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this review. Definitely recommend the Supra. And I will see you all in my next video. Yeah. See if I can land it on you guys. I can't. Anyways, uh, yeah. Au revoir.